Good morning, St. Thomas More, and Happy New Year to all of you. Each month, Pope Francis sets out a monthly prayer intention, and, and the entire global Catholic Church unites behind these intentions. And this January 2023, he's set out the intention of for educators. So with that, we're going to pray uh, that intention in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray that educators may be credible witnesses, teaching fraternity rather than competition, and helping the youngest and most vulnerable of all. Amen. St. Thomas More, pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And if you're standing, you can be seated. And if you're in the hallway, you can make your way to your classes now. I just want to uh, welcome everybody back to St. Thomas More and, and wish everybody a Happy New Year. And I hope that, like many of you, uh, like everybody, makes some resolutions or some promises to themselves. Now, resolutions only work if you put in the work. Now, if I were to ask you right now what you would want to get out at the end of this first semester, what is the answer to that question? And I think for some of you, it's going to be to get all four of my credits. For some of you who are dreaming of going on to the bigger and better program, it's going to be the, the 90 average or to make the honor roll for next year or to um, go from a 65 to a 70. Whatever it is you're wanting, you got to understand that the work starts today. So New Year's resolutions are kind of famous for people dropping them within the first couple days. And what I'm asking you to do and challenging you to do this, this year is to set your goal for the next three weeks realizing that about 40% of your mark is to be determined in the next three weeks. And at the end of each semester, you get a bit of a break, as you know. So if you work hard for three plus weeks, you should be able to achieve what you want, have a bit of a break and move into second semester and get your fresh start. But uh, as we start the morning today, let's keep in mind what we want in three weeks and let's put in the work to make that happen. With that, wishing you a happy new year. Welcome back, it's good to see all of you. Have a great day. Hey, good morning and welcome back. Happy New Year as well. Uh, I'm going to echo some of the sentiments that Mr. Daly mentioned. Uh, one of the, hopefully, your resolutions, if you're in the SHSM program, that you want to complete it before you graduate so you can actually earn the Red Seal on your diploma. And one of the requirements for the SHSM program is the ICE training, Innovation, Creativity, Entrepreneurship. You do have to complete this before you complete grade 12 to earn the Red Seal. And uh, we have a scheduled training. We're finally back to in-person training this year. And it's gonna be this Wednesday, uh, January 11th. And I'm gonna tell you who this is for, not for everyone in SHSM. If you're in the co-op, program this semester you will again that's your regular uh, seminar day and you will report to the library for the morning if you're on morning co-op and for the afternoon if you're on afternoon co-op the only uh, thing that will be slightly different it will be 8 10 start and it'll go to 11 15 if you're in the afternoon co-op it's going to start at 11 45 okay so 11 45 till the end of the day other students that are also invited, and you should take it this semester, uh, some students have told me they're graduating after semester one, not returning semester two. If you have not completed the ICE training yet, then definitely you should sign up for this. And just send me a, an email or a brief note to the guidance office that you are in, and if it's for the morning or afternoon, so that we can take care of attendance. Uh, other students that have already completed co-op and you have not completed the ICE training, this is also for you. Again, uh, email me, Sylvestri S, or drop into the guidance office uh, with a short note that tells me which se section you're gonna attend, morning or afternoon. If you're doing co-op next semester or next year, you don't have to worry about the ICE training yet, okay? So those are the, the people that uh, we're targeting for this semester training. We hope to have it next semester as well. And the reason we're doing it both semesters, last year was only online, it was only semester two. Some students completed everything they needed for the, ICE, for the uh, SHSM, but did not earn the complete diploma because they were missing the ICE training. So you've got two opportunities. It's gonna be in person. If for some reason you cannot attend this session, um, 
and you've already completed co-op and don't have ice training yet, please let me know. We'll see what arrangements we can make, if we can make an online session for you. Um, but again, if you've completed co-op and not completed ice training yet, this is for you. So again, 11, uh, 8, 10 to 11, 15 is the morning session. 11, 45 to 2, 38 is the afternoon session. If you have any other questions, let me know and I will post it on the SHSM LMS page. Okay, thanks very much. Good morning, STM. My name is Maria and here are your announcements for today. This announcement is for anyone interested in playing senior boys football this year. We will be having our sign up and first off season meeting this Wednesday at 245 in the lecture hall. This meeting is mandatory for everyone, for anyone in grade 10, 11, or 12 who is interested in playing this year. There will be a novice boys basketball practice on Monday, January 9th at 5.15 p.m. All players must attend. This is a reminder to the junior boys basketball team of practice today at 4 o'clock. Don't be late. Reminder of the junior girls volleyball practice today at 5 in Gym A to prepare for the game against Sir John Henry Newman tomorrow. Happy New Year, STM. There will be a prefect meeting today after school in the lecture hall. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. I'm Mason Jovanangeli. And I'm Morella Runco, and here are today's student council announcements for you. First, we would just like to wish everyone a happy new year and say welcome back. We hope everyone had a great winter break. But let's get down to business. Attention grade 11, 12, and 12 plus students, the time has finally come. Prom will be held on February 16th, so go over to School Cash Online and order your prom tickets ASAP. That's right, STM. Prom tickets are finally available, so make sure you go get your ticket as this event will sell out. And for those of you who are planning on bringing a guest from a different school, forms will be posted outside the Student Council office within the next few days. You must buy your ticket first and before you can buy your guests, and you must get your form signed by a VP. Vice Principal, not Vice President. <laughs> Each table will be sitting 10 people with absolutely no exceptions, and you must submit it through our Microsoft form. The link will be posted soon, so make sure you follow us on STM underscore council on all social medias to keep up to date with any updates or reminders. Thank you, Knights, and have a great day. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 821. And remember, it's a great day to be a Knight.